Tonight, two young girls are fighting for their lives at Primary Children's Hospital after being hit by a car in Spanish Fork this weekend. Those who live near the intersection are voicing their frustration, saying that changes to improve that safety is at this dangerous intersection are long overdue. The special host Kirsten Nunez spoke with residents today about what is being done to make the area safer. Kirsten. Yeah, this tight-knit community here is heartbroken by this, but unfortunately, not surprised. Even since we've been out here this afternoon, we've seen kids trying to cross this four-lane, 45-mile-per-hour road by themselves. It's something people who live here have been very worried about, and yesterday, those fears became a reality. I couldn't sleep last night. I just keep thinking about it. Thinking about them right now, like, you know, I just, I just want to hope they're going to be okay, but... But the medical side of me knows they're probably not. The intersection of Canyon Road and 2300 East is one Christopher Carroll has driven countless times. But Saturday afternoon, cars suddenly screeched to a stop. I saw two bodies laying in the road, so I knew it was something serious. And so I just pulled over and, and ran over there as fast as I could. Carroll is a registered nurse and did what he could to help the 12 and 13 year old girls. It broke my heart and I really just felt sick. Um, with how severely injured they were. Witnesses told police the girls darted in front of a gray SUV trying to cross the road to the stores on the other side. I see a lot of them that will cross and, you know, take their chance. Neighbors see close calls all the time. They even hear crashes from inside their homes. But this... I can't even imagine being that driver or having to witness that. That would just be horrific. When we heard the news, I hugged my daughter a little bit tighter. That's what we need to do for these families is when the time's right, hug them. Spanish Fork City leaders had a pre-construction meeting about this very intersection last week. And for the last year, they've worked closely with UDOT to get a signal installed. I know what frustrating is, and I know the pace of government can sometimes be uh, frustrating. The signal is expected to be installed within the next few months, but until then. There are so many children at risk here. And it's, and it's not going to go away. It's just a matter of time before it happens again. Now, police are asking anyone who does need to cross here to instead go three blocks east and cross at the signal there until a signal is finally installed here. Now, investigators say the driver in this case is cooperating. And again, the latest update on those girls are they are both in critical condition at Primary Children's Hospital. Dan, yeah, back to you. So sad to see that situation. Thanks a lot, Kirsten.